Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, let us create a new uh, domain user account for our Windows Server 2003. We can do the same thing in Windows 2008 and 12 also. So let us begin now how to create that uh, new domain account. So this is my Windows Server 2008 R2 and just click for the start and then you have to go for this administrative tool then find this users and computers scroll up and you will find users and computers here yeah. click on that one uh, after that uh, on the console tree uh, this is your console tree and you you can expand your domain name see here is my domain name we need to expand it and click on the user and then we have to do is others you can right click and create a new user like that you can go or else there is an optional you can click here also so this one is the new user creating so i am going to create a uh, one user like user one that is for example first i am using and login also it will use as a user one okay now we'll go for the next and then here we need to give a so we need to give a password and pass password should be made a complexity of this windows server 2008 and repeat the same password and just check this box user cannot change the password or password never expire okay just click to finish here it has been created one user and the password has been created so now we'll go for this now we'll check by logging this username name is the user1 and that is i'll show you how to change the password policy uh, first click on start login as a uh, after that you need to go to the domain controller and then go to start programs and you need to find the group policy here uh, search for the group policy where you will get group policy management this one on the console click this one group policy management console uh, after that you need to uh, expand your forest domain like this one is a forest domain you need to expand this one just expand this one okay after expanding uh, we need to expand the domain click on expand here uh, okay and expand here okay this one so after that expanding the domain we need to right click this uh, default demand policy okay click okay why like this getting right click go to edit and then we need to go for the uh, computer configuration here in that one we need to expand this policy double click mm. after that you can come here expand the windows settings okay and then we need to find uh, security settings okay then you need to find account policy here account policy and in that here you can find this minimum password length that's showing about this one like open this uh, uh, password policy this one and here you can see password and history 24 it will give a 24 uh, this one and password age 42 days password defined will be uh, that's this one and minimum password length 7 character so here is here this double click and uncheck this box and just apply ok and after that what you can do is uh, you can also uncheck this password one must be disable this one click this one ok and that's define apply ok so according to your purpose condition we have been so we need to update this one after doing just press windows r and then you need to type jp update ok press enter here it will be update you can see the policy is updating this has been updated now we will go to the active directory and create a new user we'll check ok we'll scroll down click on start uh, go to administrative 
and then users an account for computer active directory look up and then uh, go to user click I am going to add user2 and here also type this will be the login user2 and click on next and this is the minimum password and me123123 a user next long cannot change the password no matter of fact click next finish so here is showing windows cannot set the password for the windows because it does not meet the password policy requirement check the minimum password line and the password compiler will be Okay, this is the error. Uh, so here I have made one small mistake. Uh, we need to set here zero. We should not uncheck this one. We need to we need to check this box and need to put a zero. After that, okay, and then we need to move a user account just now activated and you can see here by resetting the root password we can set the password like that one two three and you can unlock this account user account okay and we can create a user without password also if you not as a password also so if you get any problem if you have any problem you can comment below to my video please subscribe to agri cloud network video thank you for watching my video